So, of all of the theories out there about how Han can return to this franchise, is there anyone in particular that was just the wildest that caught your eye and made you laugh? Hmm, that's a good question, Perry. Uh, I think the most ridiculous, and it's not ridiculous for Hollywood, but that Han had some evil twin brother and he came back, you know, maybe, you know, instead of long hair, he has, you know, like a shaved head or something like that. <laughs> you know, and I don't know how that would work and I don't think I would be interested in doing that, but that, that was kind of goofy, you know, I'm like, what, he had an evil brother? Like, where, he was just hanging out somewhere? Or, you know, it makes a no little, sense. Yeah. A little bit, but just yeah. to play around with that, yeah. if that is what wound up happening and you got to take a real swing, a big swing with Han's brother, what uh, would be a quality that maybe you've never been able to tap into in a character before that you would want that character to have? Yeah, you know, I would love to play some type of physical handicap. Like, you ever see Daniel day Lewis is My Left Foot? Yes, I like, have. Something like that. You know, I don't know if that character would fit in the Fast and Furious world because he needs both feet to drive and work his, the clutch and stuff. But, yeah, something like that. I would love, you know, like some type of maybe, like, blindness, some type of handicap, like physical handicap, right? I'm and a then big believer that anyone could fit in this franchise. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. That'd be cool. All uh, right. So now going back to the reality of the situation here, you know, Justice for Han was a really big deal. And I'm sure you were very excited to return to the franchise. But when you do something like that, you really need to justify it story wise. So when those conversations started happening, was there anything that made you say to the folks in charge, like, I want to come back, but this quality has to be in the character or it has to be done this way so it feels realistic? That's a great question, Perry. You know, I think if it was a another director I never worked with before. And I didn't have the history I have with Justin. You know, those conversations would have been very hard. Um, and it probably, it might have never happened, right? Because how do you trust, you know, a character that is so beloved to someone that didn't grow up with it, right? Or didn't, wasn't there from the foundation. And, and in many ways, you know, we started our career together, Justin and I, and we started this character together, right? So. You know, the conversation has always been organic over the years of like, what if, what if, and how are we going to do this? And Justin being so precious with the Han character, you know, if anyone was going to take care of it, it was going to be him, right? So, I mean, I tell people Justin is more like Han than I am in real life. So, you know, I think he knows the character maybe some, sometimes better than I do. With that in mind, over the course of all the Fast films you've been in, is there any particular moment where maybe you were having a tough time nailing a scene and Justin, who had such a good understanding of that character, gave you a direction that pulled something out of you that you might not have been able to access yourself? Yeah, you know, when I went back to Fast 9, it, it, it was many years since I, you know, went back into Han's shoes, so my cadence was, it was different, you know, the way... I think I was anticipating too many things, especially like forcing things with like activity, like even the snacks, right? Like it was more of a gimmick. It became a gimmick, right? Because everyone associates, you know, snack with Han. Where before, you know, it was a choice as an actor to make sure that I had an activity while I'm observing. And that's where, you know, developing and growing with a director over the years, you know, you were able to have that shorthand. And so, you know, there were times where I felt like, I wasn't really sure where Han was going, and even my cadence was a little off. And then, you know, we would talk about, like, you know, you know, why is he here? You know, who is Han? Like, you know, how is he seeing the world? What are those snacks for? What are those tools for, right? So, yeah. Just for fun, let's say someone out there wants to craft a Han food basket. Mm -hmm. What would you put in that basket? Uh, and it, it, so every snack, every dry snack, every chip needs to have a cheese flavor to it, some type of cheddar. Um, and then everything needs to have kind of a certain density where you can, it's like the density of like a peanut, like that way. It's perfect to kind of be able to toss into your mouth, right? Uh, and you can kind of play with it, rattle it around like dice in your hand. So there's a certain, there's a certain weight and size to the, 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 the snacks in that basket. All right. Makes sense, Bert. Now yeah. we can now we can make it a, a Han and a, a you basket, or basket that reflects you as well. What are you throwing in? What what's like the type of thing that you, you snack on to pass the time in between days? Exactly what I just said. <laughs> Perfect marriage right there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Going to something specific said in the movie. So, 
we know that there's a magic trick involved in terms of uh, Han's survival. I think he says something like pretty neat magic trick to Mr. Nobody. Yeah. We know the magic trip ha trick happens and he survives, but what is what is the magic trick specifically? That's a, you know, you're, you're, I'm sure you're the type of uh, audience member that a magician never wants to meet. Like you can't, you can't tell the secret. It's, that's why it's called magic. I can't tell you how that happened. I have you have to with, wait till past 10. <laughs> I have that with magic tricks. Yeah. I do it with backstory. When yeah. I fall so hard for a character, yeah. I want to know every single ounce of the roadmap that got them to this particular point. Yeah, I wish I could tell you what that magic trick is, but <laughs> to be honest with you, Perry, I have no idea what that trick is. I respect that. Yeah. Thank you so much for Thanks, your Barry. time. Thanks, Perry. Appreciate yes. it.